What if I told you that the godfather of AI is afraid of his own creation? That he thinks we are heading into the description of that future, where machines okay. will take now over let's go and to convolutional will become lesson. irrelevant. Sounds like a science fiction movie, right? Well, it's not. It's the reality we are facing according to Jeffrey Hinton, one of the most influential figures in artificial intelligence. Today, I'm going to talk about a recent interview with Jeffrey Hinton, who is widely regarded as the godfather of AI for his pioneering work on deep learning and neural networks. In this interview, he reveals his fears and warnings about the future of AI, and why he thinks we need to be very careful about what we are creating. If you are interested in learning more about this topic, make sure to watch this video till the end. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Jeffrey Hinton is a Canadian computer scientist and professor at the University of Toronto. He is also a chief scientific advisor at Google and a co-founder of the Vector Institute for Artificial Intelligence. He is widely considered one of the artificial neural networks to learn from large amounts of data and perform complex tasks such as image recognition, natural language processing, and self-driving cars. Hinton has received numerous awards and honors for his contributions to AI, including the Turing Award, which is often called the Nobel Prize for Computing. However, despite his achievements and recognition, Hinton is not optimistic about the future of AI. In fact, he is quite worried about the potential dangers and threats that AI poses to humanity. In a recent interview with The Verge, he shared his views on why he thinks AI is heading in the wrong direction and what we can do to prevent it from becoming our worst nightmare. According to Hinton, one of the main problems with AI is that it is becoming too powerful and too autonomous. He argues that we are creating machines that can learn from their own experiences and improve themselves without human supervision or guidance. This means that they can develop their own goals and values that may not align with ours or even harm us. He says that we are creating alien intelligences that we don't understand and can't control. Hinton also warns that AI is creating a huge gap between the rich and the poor the powerful and the powerless. He says that AI is concentrating wealth and power in the hands of a few corporations and individuals who have access to massive amounts of data and computing resources. He says that these entities can use AI to manipulate people's behavior, influence their opinions, and exploit their vulnerabilities. He says that AI is creating a new form of feudalism where people are dependent on machines for their basic needs and have no say in how they are governed. Hinton also fears that AI is threatening our identity and dignity as human beings. He says that AI is eroding our sense of self-worth and agency by making us feel inferior and obsolete. He says that AI is replacing us in many domains where we used to excel or enjoy such as art, music, Of course, sports, not everyone agrees with Hinton's pessimistic outlook on AI. He said, Some people argue that AI is a force for good that can solve many of the world's problems, such as poverty, disease, climate change, and war. They say that AI can enhance our capabilities and creativity rather than diminish them. They say that AI can empower us rather than enslave us. Some people also challenge Hinton's credibility and authority on AI. They say that he is biased by his own research interests and agenda. They say that he is out of touch with the current state and trends of AI. They say that he is exaggerating or misrepresenting the risks and challenges of AI. Some people also question Hinton's motives and intentions for speaking out against AI. They say that he is trying to create fear or controversy to attract attention or influence policy. They say that he is trying to protect his legacy or reputation by criticizing his competitors or successors. They say that he is trying to sabotage or slow down the progress or innovation of AI. Despite these objections and criticisms, Hinton's views on AI have gained a lot of attention and support from other experts and influencers in the field. For example, Elon Musk 
the founder of Tesla and SpaceX, has echoed Hinton's concerns and called AI the biggest existential threat to humanity. He has also founded OpenAI, a research organization that aims to create safe and beneficial AI for everyone. Similarly, Stephen Hawking, the late renowned physicist and cosmologist, has warned that AI could spell the end of the human race if it surpasses our intelligence and abilities. He has also advocated for the ethical and responsible use of AI for the common good. Moreover, Hinton's views on AI have also sparked a lot of debate and discussion among the public and the media. Many people have expressed their curiosity, interest, or anxiety about the future of AI and its impact on society and culture. Many people have also questioned their own role and relationship with AI and how they can cope or adapt to the changes it brings. In conclusion, Jeffrey Hinton is one of the most influential and respected figures in AI, but he is also one of the most outspoken and controversial ones. He has shared his fears and warnings about the future of AI and why he thinks we need to be very careful about what we are creating. He has raised some important and valid points that we should not ignore or dismiss. However, he has also faced some challenges and counter-arguments that we should not overlook or disregard. Ultimately, he has opened our eyes and minds to a fascinating and complex topic that deserves our attention and action. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, let me know what you think about Jeffrey Hinton's views on AI in the comments below. Do you agree or disagree with him? Why or why not? I would love to hear your opinions and feedback. And don't forget